Hey guys, it's Renee. Today I want to show you how to make fresh strawberry and mint jam. Let's get started. The first thing you're going to need, obviously, is one and a half pints of fresh strawberries. Second is one Myers lemon. I like to use Myers lemon because they're very sweet and they smell delicious. Then, fresh mint, not too much because it can be very overpowering, but just a little bit gives it that hint of freshness. And last but certainly not least is two cups sugar. Mm. I, I like to use organic because it makes me feel better about myself, but sugar is sugar, so use what you can. Yes, this is a very, very simple recipe, but there's a couple things you need to do to prep. First thing is first, you need to get cans. Mm these mason jars. They're fantastic. Thanks, Mom. But you do need to sterilize them or else the strawberry jam won't keep and that's yucky. So what you need to do is get a fresh pot of water boiled. Here I go. It is boiling. Ah! It's almost there. So while we're making our jam, we're going to put our jars into the boiling water so they're sterilized. There they are, boiling in the water. Okay, so first things first, let's get started. Grab your one lemon. Yeah. And you need to roll it out a little bit. Because when you roll it out, it gets juices flowing. It's easier to squeeze. Squeeze right side up so you don't get all the seeds. Oh, Myers lemon smells so good and fruity and sweet. They're so amazing. The other side. There we go. My hands are clean. I can pick out any seeds that I accidentally got in there. Second thing, fresh mint, my favorite. Just grab a leaf or two, really not that much because it is can be very overpowering if you use too much. Roll it around, release the flavor, throw it in. Okay, now, your sugar. Then just mix it up until it's completely been blended together. Oh, it smells so sweet and so delicious. So, it's going to look like this. So, I heated a saucepan just so it was evenly heated all the way around, and I added my sugar mixture. Voila! And now we got to wait about 15 minutes until the sugar dissolves. Why so long? Because we have to have it on very low heat. Now that's low. That is low. So now that that sugar mixture is dissolving, it's going to be on there for a little while. In the meantime, cut up your strawberries. This is going to take a long time. Hey guys, don't forget, it's not one of those set it and forget it infomercials. You have to stir it every once in a while. So, it's about 12 minutes later and my sugar is done dissolving. So now I can add my strawberries. You probably wish you could teleport right now because if you could, you could smell this. It smells so amazing. I always keep the silly looking strawberries so you can laugh at them later. <laughs> well. 
So this needs to cook on very low heat for about 20 minutes until it has a small boil going on. Yes, it's going to be very liquidy because strawberries are mostly made up of water. That is normal and it's okay. Just be patient. You need to put a lid on it. And no, I don't live in a boat. Although it looks like a boat. I need to try.